welcome back to my Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 4 aka the final season. Let's play. Let's continue shall we? I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Help AJ make friends. Sure, no problem. Hey, um, AJ wants to apologize to you. Come it was on. that girl I bit. Yeah, want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yep. Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... You just gotta start with a joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. That might not uh, work. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Knock knock. Who's there? Edge. Edge who? Bless you. Um, I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven. You little weirdo. This is smile. I did it. Yay. You sure did. Can I talk to her as well? Hello. See something cool? I wanna see. Yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little dude said fuck. Well, okay, then they're easily pleased if they found that funny. Yes. Redolent. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. 
You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. Gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. Just these two left now, isn't it? Yep. Oh, wait a minute, where's the uh, other girl? Oh! There's someone way over there. Okay. Hey, guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlon. Okay. Okay, good. Let's do that then. Also, quick little side note. I only just noticed the pattern on the jacket. I'm loving the jacket. Definitely. Pretty cool jacket. Oh, hi Marlon and friend. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Be careful. He bites. <laughs> Don't worry about Ruby. From what I hear, it was self-defense. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> Pardon you. Oh, come on. Uh. Pardon you. You need a napkin. Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say goodnight. Goodnight. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. 
Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Bloody hell, we ate mm -hmm. that fast. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's oh, only fair. Oh, I was just about to ask that question myself. What about AJ? What about Where, where is AJ? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Oh, okay. Cool. Come on. You can take your eyes off it for one card game. Bet you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. What about him? Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... They're dead? They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <laughs> For the most part. Might as well be honest with them. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What do I want to know? Uh... Okay. Worst injury you ever saw. Uh, I saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. I saw this guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Badly. There wasn't even any skin left. Ouch. Hmm. He deserved it. <laughs> he did. Carver. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? I knew oh it! Oh my god. Potential love what? interest, I knew it! It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. Uh, Gabe was one, I guess? Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I... Met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I don't know what you'd call them. But I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ha, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Lee. Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. What? Yeah. Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. I ate a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. 
Are you? Ha! <laughs> no answering. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That uh, is fucked up. Uh, <laughs> well, I know. I don't know. Anyone but me? None of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I do not have to answer that. Oh, I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lee. Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. Yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. I didn't get to ask about Molly's haircut. Oh, you well. wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Good night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax, get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. Probably ah. give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. You see her um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> she 
She had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they, afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Uh, AJ, where the hell did you go? Oh, you're under there. Okay, that's, that's fine. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Yep. With winter coming, you gotta keep warm. So if he gets used to the bed now, that's good. Hmm. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, well AJ. Although, sleeping under the bed could Clint, have been a good mm, idea too, I don't know. This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Yeah, sleeping under the bed could have been a good idea too, I don't know, but I feel like with winter coming, he needs to get used to warm beds and not cold, hard floors. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up.
it's in here. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These are the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Oh, fine. What the Thanks. hell, AJ? What the hell, AJ? Do you that know was... where Marlin is? That was rude. I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.